Good morning, Northtown, and welcome to our Monday show. I'm Michael Foster. And I'm Josiah Mendoza. Today is Monday, November 12th, and coming up today, we'll bring you today in history, what's buzzing around Northtown, look up poll results, and much, much more. All on NTV News. So let's start off by taking a look at what's buzzing around Northtown. If you enjoy watching and discussing anime, this club may be for you. Anime Club it will have its first get together tomorrow, November 13th, during advisory. The meeting will take place in the library in South Campus. Also, Miles of Smiles will be here. We'll be at Northtown from November 13th to the 26th. Please make sure you are registered. See the school nurse for questions. There's There's always someone who deserves a shout out at Northtown. And this week's Hornet Spotlight goes to everyone involved in the musical. Great job to the actors, technicians, and musicians on your performance. If you didn't see it, Pippin was last weekend. What you didn't see was the challenges faced by all of the performing arts because of the construction this year. Here's a deeper look. Remember this? No, it's not a ghost. It's the old Northtown Auditorium. Where is it now? It is being renovated into a new library, and a new and improved auditorium is being built. But where will performing arts, you know, perform? Theater is now on South Campus. This is where the production Pippin also rehearses. There have been many difficulties in production this year. Here is Mr. Jackson and a few cast members with more. It's slow things down. Number one, we can't rehearse in the facility that we're going to be performing in, so we have to make do with the large space in the basement. So it throws things off initially when I'm trying to visualize where things are going to be and how they're going to look, and just in the basement of the church, we have these poles we have to deal with that aren't going to be in the stage. So it's a little confusing. But having the lack of the auditorium makes it harder to just rehearse. You have a smaller room. Even if we've measured it out to be the correct size of the stage, it just makes it so much harder. We have to try to simulate that same space we're going to have at Park. Yeah. But, you know, some things aren't there, like there's walls that aren't there, there's like the end of the stage that isn't there, so... We're trying to make it work, and it works to an extent, but it's not like it used to be when we had our own auditorium. It is not the only thing that's affected by this, though. Music is also affected. Here's your music teachers with more on some of the difficulties they've had this year. It's been hard for us to not have a specific place for performances. We've often used the auditorium for extra rehearsals. Uh, and splitting our band in other ways, but this year it's been um, really tough to not have the auditorium. So we're taking our performances more on the road than being here at home. Uh, our winter concert will be at Winnetonka. We'll have a pre-contest concert at Staley. Uh, we're going to have a concert in the gym. I've been teaching now for about 16 years, and I will tell you that this is probably the hardest year I've ever had to teach. Um, there has been more challenges and more hurdles that have come up uh, than any year I've ever seen. Um, and it's it's been tough. Um, we were without power for three days, uh, so we taught in the dark. Uh, we still just kind of make things work. Um, <clears throat> it's, you know, no air conditioning, no no heat. Uh, just every once in a while, that's, that's you walk in every day and you just know there's going to be a new challenge that's going to hit you. The construction has been um, fun every single day. We have no bathrooms here in our little annex to me. We don't have a water fountain, so we have to go to B-Wing for all of that. Um, sometimes the air conditioning works, sometimes it doesn't. That's been exciting, a day-to-day -day adventure. Um, and the most exciting thing, though, is sometimes the walls and the floors shake or vibrate and startle us, but that's kind of fun, too. We are used to performing in one venue. Uh, now we're performing at um, Park College, 
were performing at the First Baptist Church, the field house. Uh, it causes our kids to uh, realize uh, that the stage is a bigger one than the one we had here at school. While there have been many issues caused by the lack of auditorium and the construction happening around school, it's safe to say that there are still many high hopes for the future. I am extremely excited for the new auditorium. We're supposed to have a fly system, a much bigger stage than we had before. It just all together sounds like it's going to be so much better and so much cooler. I'm very excited for the new auditorium. Um, I think that Northtown is a great place and I'm really looking forward to being able to show off the nice things that our students are going to get to have uh, in the future. So I think um, I'm very excited, I'm very hopeful for the future. Um, I'm very anxious. I can't wait uh, for this all to open up. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm more than excited. Excited is not a, a strong enough word for, for how I feel about this new edition. On Today in History, we will be talking about Adolf Hitler getting arrested for his attempt to seize power during the Beer Hall Putsch. In 1923, Adolf Hitler and his followers staged the Beer Hall Putsch in Munich when he tried to seize power, but he failed to take over the government in Baravia. In the aftermath of the failed Putsch, or coup d'etat, Hitler was convicted of treason and sentenced to five years in prison, though he spent less than a year behind bars. During that time, he wrote the book Mein Kampf. After he got out, he worked to rebuild the Nazi party. Last week, we wanted to know what your favorite Halloween candy was. 31% enjoy Reese's, 20% like Kit Kats, 13% prefer Sour Patch, 12% prefer Snickers, and 24% prefer a different spooky treat. Next week, NTV is curious whether you're more of a dog or cat person. To reply, look for an email from Mrs. Doinger. And there's our show for today, Northtown. To find more epi NTV episodes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, NTV at NKCHS. To stay up to date on everything that's buzzing around Northtown, follow us on Twitter at Northtown News. And for photos and announcements, you can find us and like us on Facebook at NKC Journalism. Thanks for watching, Northtown. Keep it classy. And as always, it's a great day to be a Hornet.